Hmm, where are we this time, honey? Denmark? Copenhagen? Nope, and nope. We are right here in California, the southern part. That's right, we're right here in Solvang, California, adorable little Danish town right here in our backyard. Stay tuned as we cover it on this episode of Abroad with the Burrells. Welcome to Abroad with the Burrells, a channel for travelers by travelers. I'm Coleman. And I'm Jamie. On this episode, we're gonna be talking about Solvang. Such an adorable little place to visit. It's located in Southern California, about 40 minutes north of Santa Barbara, about four hours south of San Francisco. Population is about 6,000 people that live there. However, they do have many, many visitors year round. The word solving actually means sunny field. You just learned Danish and that's the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> solving is incredibly unique. It's a Danish town that was built by Danish Americans who migrated from the Midwest in 1911. They built the town to replicate obviously their hometown in Denmark. So you'll see authentic windmills, bakeries, traditional Danish architecture. We've arrived, Royal Copenhagen Hotel. Mm. How stinking cute is this? And here's the room. Nice and spacious for us. So Brooklyn has plenty of room to run around as you can see. That's quite nice. Looks like a, a nice painting depicting a very charming Dutch street. That's a cool painting here, Denmark, the land of peace. What's going on little lady? Ooh. And it's time to get dressed and go explore a little bit. Solvang makes for a great family town and one of the must do's to do when you're there is to visit ostrich land. I know, <laughs> I know, it sounds random. Why are we visiting ostriches in the middle of California? But they do have an ostrich farm. And emus. And emus. Got the little feed. You see the ostriches? They are pretty big, aren't they? Oh my goodness. They said be careful, don't get too close because they'll peck you. Yes. I didn't know they were that big though. You want Okay, you guys can Okay, ready? We're gonna feed them, okay? Two hands on the handle, they said, or they'll try to rip it out of your hand sometimes. Okay, do not touch them. Put your hand right here. Hold tight to mommy, okay? I don't think I should hold her. You don't want to eat? Oh, look at the feet. You're not hungry? You like the camera, buddy? I guess. <laughs> Are you hungry? I know. Whoa. This kind of puts in perspective just how big those boys are. And uh, right when the camera turned off, mommy got bit by an ostrich. <laughs> oh, he 
got figures. You, got you good, didn't he? Yeah, old oh. bastard. Don't go too far, Zim. Can I see you? You ain't gonna get me twice. Which one? So it looks like we're bringing one home. You don't want the puppet? Do you want this one? <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn loved the emu. She kept calling them baby ostriches. And in the spirit of the ostrich farm, I'd actually like to uh, play a little trivia game with you. David didn't know this was coming. Oh, I did not know this. <laughs> Let's do some ostrich trivia, shall we? Some fun facts about the ostriches here. I'm gonna fail. So, Jamie, an ostrich can fly. True or false? False. That is correct. Very nice. <laughs> that is very nice. I don't know where he came up with this. Go ahead. Uh, question number two. Um, how many stomachs does an ostrich have? Oh. A. Okay. One. B. Two or C. Three. Two. B. An ostrich actually has three stomachs, Aww. believe it or not. I don't know why you need three, but they have three. I'm not a... <laughs> Does uh, the food like get sorted? I, I, it How does that work? I, I don't know. I'm not an ostrich expert, unfortunately, but they do have three. Um, how fast can an ostrich oh, run? A, 44 miles an hour, B, 25 miles an hour, or C, 56 miles an hour? B. B44? Yeah. That's correct! <laughs> Let's go! That's good, honey. I liked how you tried to trick me with C, though. Ah, I, I did, I did. did. I, I tried to get her. <laughs> Got you. True or false? An ostrich's kick can kill a lion. True. That is true. I actually remember learning that at Ostrich. Yes. Land. That is true. Um, True or false? An ostrich buries its head in the sand. True. Mm. That's actually false. That is a common misconception. Ostriches actually do not bury their heads in the sand. Womp womp. They say from a distance when an ostrich senses danger, it lays flat and then its tail kind of goes up to uh, create a diversion and it gives the mirage of their heads being hit in the sand. Interesting. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. That's what Google says. <laughs> Thanks um, for sharing that. <laughs> Thanks for educating me. Thanks for playing. And that is the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> and on to our next must do. Stroll the streets. Yes. This little town is so cute and you can literally just walk around for hours uh, admiring the architecture and you know window shopping. It's just so so cute. So definitely just take some time, yeah. walk around feel the sun and, you know, pop into a bakery. Yeah, which brings us to the next must do. Pop into one of the many Danish bakeries that you can find dotted throughout town and they are quite delicious. The pastries are quite delectable. So make sure to visit a Danish bakery while you're in town. All right, this is the proceeds from the bakery. What is this? It's a jalapeno cheese bread. I tried to get the cinnamon bread, they were all out. But the Darn. girl behind the counter said this is her ultimate favorite. She eats it like every morning. It's an apple fritter. Ooh, that looks good. Wait, there's more. That looks really good. Oh, heck yeah. Which is like the closest thing to the cinnamon bread I could get. Yep. Here's the cookie for Zoo when she's awake. Wow. With M&M's. Yep. I remember getting those as a kid. My yeah. mom would always get me those when I was a kid. And then... You remember that, Mom? <laughs> remember that bakery in Louisiana when we were kids? This one. I forget what it's called, but it looks so good. It's like a brittle. It's in chocolate. Ooh. Yummy. I gotta take a bite right now. Sweet treats. <laughs> oh, it's almond something. So mm. there's almond in it. The eye clothes gave it away. <laughs> in fact, when you're in a Danish bakery, make sure to try the Abel Skiver. It is a Solvang and Danish staple.
Here we go. Don't you want one? It's dessert. This the Danish dessert, the Abel Skiver. It looks like, what would you say that texture is? Like a waffle? The crepe texture, like a fried crepe maybe? Kind of. With powdered sugar and jam? Yeah. Just take a bite Let's take a bite out of crime. It's yummy. Yeah? What would you describe it as? Like a biscuit. Okay. It tastes like biscuit. Okay. It's like... Oh yeah, I see the texture there. Cool. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I would say. It's like a biscuit. Yeah. A sweet biscuit. And if you're into wine, they have a variety of different wine tasting fronts as you walk down the streets. Mm -hmm. There are actually several vineyards. They do have a wine route that you can venture out and explore. We were able to sit down, do a little bit of wine tasting right there in the middle of their city center. Got a little rosé. Yeah. So this is interesting because it's a rosé of Pinot Noir. Yeah, that one's really good. It's smoother. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah. This is a Sauvignon Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc, or as they call it here, a Solvignon Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> Rent a Surrey. Tons of fun. So fun. Family bikes, that's what I call it. Yep. It's a family bike. Get the family going and have a nice spin around town. It's heck of fun. It's a little bit of an exercise, <laughs> but it's, it's definitely worth the try. All right, we're going in for the bike rentals here. The little family bikes. Put everybody on there and um, paddle around the city a little bit. You ready to do the bikes? Oh yeah, look. You want one of the helmets? Mm -hmm. All right. Which one you want? Come out so you can show me. Okay, which one? You want that one? Hold it up. Okay, we'll see about getting you that one. All right, you ready, Zoo? Brooklyn, you ready? Yeah. Woo! All right. How do we break? Oh, I pull this back like that. Okay. <laughs> When you're done with the Surrey, hop on a trolley. The trolley is great because not only is it a nice respite from all the walking that you'll be doing, but they do give you a nice historical tour of the town, letting you know of the different buildings and why they were founded. It's fun, relaxing, and informational, and we highly recommend it. Try the different restaurants. Mm -hmm. So Solving is a place you're gonna walk around, you're gonna drink, and you're gonna eat. And so, Definitely venture out and try the different restaurants. Some of our recommendations, Paula's Pancake House. Paula's Pancakes. Was phenomenal. The Belgian Cafe. Yes. Okay, those were two spots we really enjoyed for breakfast. Paula's Pancake House. Brooklyn is already digging in. Is it yummy, Zoo? Too much food. I couldn't decide. So we got both the Danish pancakes and the hash, corn hash, Benedict. The Belgian cafe, breakfast and lunch. It's supposed to have some really great uh, Belgian waffles, even though technically. It's supposed to be Danish land, Denmark-esque. Guess we'll go to Belgium today.
<laughs> the Mark Ween Lean! The Ween Lean! Yo! You're so funny, Brooklyn. Good! That's good, huh? For lunch and dinner, um, the succulent was amazing. Oh. A little uh, more, you want to dress up a little bit nicer. A little more formal. But it was delicious. The succulent. Oh, why thank you. Ooh, look at that mac and cheese. Is that good? I think she likes it. She's going for the second one right away. Oh yeah. Oh, it. Melts. Garlic butter melts. Ooh, yummy. Careful. Okay, baby. Melt in your mouth. <laughs> when you're on vacation, you just gotta do it right. Yep. We had a fantastic meal. Great meal. Good ambiance. So, recommendation? Is this where the stamp comes in? AWV? <laughs> stamp of approval, baby. Brooklyn's meal came with a free cookie. Oh. <laughs> As she was telling us, drink up with our wine. Also, the brew house is fun. They have their own beer on tap, and it's just another family friendly place. Absolutely. You don't need a whole lot of time there. The bulk of what you're going to be looking at is in pretty close proximity. Again, there aren't these major attractions that you need to go visit. It's really just relaxing and walking around. So, you know, two to three days there's max, all you'll need. Yeah. Um, what we recommend is actually spending a couple days there and then- Parlaying it into a trip in Santa Barbara or Ventura. Yeah, LA has so many things you can do. Santa Barbara, you can do the wine route. You can also do Los Ovilos, which is a, another community nearby that you can visit. Definitely something if you're interested in checking out the surrounding areas and getting a little bit outside of solving. Not a lot of nightlife. So yeah. you can expect things to shut down early. So when you're there, if you're going there to party, that's not the place for you. Yeah, driving to Santa Barbara, go to State Street. Yeah, exactly. Yep, video on Santa Barbara coming soon, by the way. Yeah, stay tuned. This brings us to the final question. We've been asked, does Solvang really feel like Denmark? Well, Jamie and I can't speak for all of Denmark, but we have been blessed enough to visit Copenhagen. And if you're asking, does Solvang feel like Copenhagen? Well, then resoundingly, no. That's not to say that Solvang may not feel like other smaller or more rural parts of Denmark. I mean, New York City doesn't feel like Albuquerque, does it? But Solvang locals told us that whenever they encounter travelers from Denmark, the Danish visitors seem to go out of their way to declare that Solvang, quote, feels nothing like the real Denmark. But that's not really the point, is it? You don't go to Solvang to get an express replica of Denmark. You go to Solvang for Solvang, which is a wonderful taste of Danish culture amidst the warm California sun. And that makes it a special place. So that's gonna do it for our review of Solvang. If you heard anything that was informational or inspirational in any way, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check us out on Instagram and TikTok. From our family to yours, guys, we like to remind you that traveling is not just about the destination, but of course, who you share it with. Be sure to get out there, make it happen. And have fun. And have fun. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you next time. Take care. And you have the smells wafting into the street as you walk. So make sure to visit a Danish pastry and enjoy yourself. Visit Danish a Danish <laughs> pastry. <laughs> Three, two, one. Visit so make sure to yeah, visit a pastry. <laughs> about to try? Uh, well, they're famous for their Eposki Vaj. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Where is that? Where is that on the thing? Hold that up to the... This dessert here is called an... Eposki <laughs> Vaj. See? I wasn't that far off. That's pretty good. It's like thick glass. Perfect. You want some clogs? Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> How do those feel? Oh. <laughs>
pants. You don't like the clogs? You don't like wooden shoes. Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. You're on YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs>